My name is Jamie Morgenstern. I work for BAM TV. We produce live music video programming for independent uh, musicians and we distribute and produce the content here in San Francisco. We have on site uh, 16 terabyte SAN. Um, we have about 12 uh, audio and video editors and we're consistently looking for more space as we're working with high definition video which takes up a lot of storage. As we constantly run out of space, we're looking for some sort of medium that allows us to continue the workflow and continue to expand our, our storage of our data library. The most important thing for us when we were looking for a storage so solution was cost and scalability. LTO and LTFS is, is a great solution for us um, because we're able to go back and get a lot of this long-term storage uh, data that we have in order to repurpose a lot of our content. We're constantly repurposing assets that maybe we shot six months ago, but all of a sudden we have a project come up that requires those um, files that we don't have on hand here. So we go to our vault, we pull out that tape, bring it into our studio, and, and voila, you know, those, those files are, are back. One of the great things about LTO and LTFS technology is, is really just the ease of use. Um, in our case, you know, it's just a matter of choosing the files or the, the data set that we want to back up, syncing to a new tape, and, and it's done. For, you know, about a year of, of archiving our content to tapes, um, LTO 5 tapes specifically, we've accumulated a library of approximately 80 terabytes of storage. That's roughly 60 tapes. Um, you know, this is significant because we've had several hard drives fail here in, here in our space, and yet we've had zero tapes fail in, in the course of a year. So creating a system that not only protected all of our data, but also allowed us to push things into deep archive um, was really the system that we were looking for.